Welcome to this video where I'm going to show you the main bass riffs from five classic rock tunes. Now, you'll know all of these tunes, I'm sure, and the five bass lines are really fun to play. When playing rock bass, you've got a choice really, you can use a pick or you can use your fingers. Now there's that classic rock sound with a pick, and I really like that. Also I like the fingers as well, so just use whatever you want to use. Um, you need to set your bass up, I mean P basses um, were quite common, Rickenbackers, it doesn't really matter what you've got, but um, for rock I wouldn't make it too bassy, I'd just um, boost the mids a bit. But experiment with your bass and see what you think sounds good. Now some of the classic rock um, bass players play pick, some use their fingers, and some actually use both. Um, if you think about someone like John Deacon, he would use fingers and a pick. I'm not going to waste any time, I'm going to launch straight into the lesson, but before I do that, make sure that you pick up the PDF. It's a free PDF, you can get that by clicking the link in the description below this video. That's got all the five bass lines um, in standard notation and tab. And what I'm going to show in this lesson, I'm going to show you the main riffs, um, but I've also put some of the other sections in um, the bass lines on the PDF as well. And also don't forget to subscribe to my Greg's Bass Shed channel here on YouTube. Classic rock bassline number one is Back to Black by ACDC. This song was released in 1980 and this album is one of the best selling albums ever in history. The bassist on this tune is Cliff Williams. Um, he mostly played a Stingray bass and he used a pick as well. This is the main riff. Okay, so it's in E. Um, first of all, we've got the calls of E, D, and A on the main riff. Um, but when there's an A, we use a C sharp. So we've got E, open E, nice fat open E there, and then D, fifth fret of the A string. Um, so we've got three of those, do, do, do and then three C sharps, do, 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 okay? So the C sharp is the third of A. So we've got the A chord, we play the C sharp, do, 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 okay? Boom. Ba -da -da. Ba -da -da. Two, three, four, and then in again, okay? So we count one, two, three, four, okay? So try that for me, and we'll just do it a few times. Three, four, one, two. One, two, three, and again. Do, do, do. Two, three, four, boom. Okay, and the second time we play it, we've got the um, the second bar of the second time is slightly different. We play this. Okay, so what we're doing in that second bar, we land on the C sharp, and then we're just doing B G, B A, B A sharp, B B. Okay, so each of those four um, little groups of two notes starts with a B every time. B, G, B, A, B, A sharp, B, B. Okay, so use the, the B, the second fret of the A string, and then G, the third fret of the E string, and then down to open A, when we play that, and then the A sharp is the first fret. Okay, so I'll play the second time around the riff. Three, four, boom. Okay. So we need to practice that slowly if you're finding that tricky. B, G, B, A, B, A sharp, B, B. Okay, try it with me if you want. Um, just those two bars, three, four. Okay, and the timing of that, when you start on those Bs, is on beat two, so. One, two. Okay, we'll play the whole of um, those four bars, okay? It's a little bit slower, just like I was doing it then. Three, four. Two, three, four. Okay, cracking riff there. And that's repeated um, four times, those four bars, okay? Um, so that's the main riff. Now, I've written down on the PDF um, some of the middle eight sections. Uh, I'll just play that for you now, but I'm not gonna teach you that, okay? You can get that off the PDF, so.
okay? So really that's kind of based around a B, and then down to an A, back to the B, and then G, D, okay? So that's all on the PDF. Now, also I'm gonna record a couple of um, short, so 60 second videos I'll put on YouTube as well, of just me playing through with these bass lines with the original track. Okay, there's kind of copyright issues. I don't really like to put them into the main lesson. Um, but depending on when you're watching this, um, if you're watching it on the day it's released, then they're not made yet. <laughs> Just watch out for them this week. But if this video has been around for a while, have a look in the description and you'll see the links to those shorts. So you can get an idea uh, of me playing through with the original track. Classic rock bassline number two is Black Knight by Deep Purple. A British band. Um, this was released in 1970 and this tune was their highest um, single in the charts. Roger Glover was the bassist at the time um, and around that era he used P basses and Rickenbackers. Okay um, and he generally kind of always from what I've seen played with a pick. The main riff has got a swing in it so I'll play it for you here. Okay, so if it didn't have a swing, it would be... Okay, so it's a sort of shuffle um, feel. Okay, it's just um, based around these frets here as well. Um, frets 5 and frets 7, okay, on the three strings on the E, A and the D. Okay, so once you get in that position, you can play the whole riff without shifting. So I'll just play it slowly. So you'd start with your second, uh, with your little finger, sorry, on E, the seventh fret of the A string. So you can see I didn't shift. Now you can use finger one and finger four, or finger one and finger three. So I could play it with this. Okay, whatever you prefer. Okay, um, so start on E, and then we do E, G, E, D, okay, and then B, D, E. Okay, just try that. Three, four. And again, three, four. And then same again, E, G, E, and then we've got A, G, E. It's the second bar, okay? Try with me, start on E, three, four. Again, three, four. Okay, so we put those two bars together, so I'll play it first. Okay, if you're using your third finger, you could use your little finger for your pinky for the A if you wanted. Okay, up to you really. But try that for me, okay? Those two bars, three, four. Again, three, four. And then we've got do do, so D, E, G, E. So two, three, four. Two, three, four. Okay. So they're they're kind of just one bar each for those two notes, groups of two notes. Okay, let's try the whole riff. Start on E, three, four. Four. Okay, and you just repeat that riff round. It's got a really cool intro. Okay, so that's E, D, um, B, G. Okay, if we did it. You might recognise that. That's just a minor seven arpeggio. So it's coming down the arpeggio. Okay, but I've just played a G there, it makes it easier. Okay, so that's a really cool intro. Uh, and then again on the PDF, I've written this all out, but we've got a really nice kind of real classic rock riff on the verse. That's just D to E with the shuffle feel. Okay, and then we move on to um, doing the same rhythm as the main riff, but a load of different notes. I'll play it through for you and just watch. Back on the riff. OK, 
Okay, so a lot of notes there um, to learn that, that second half of that verse. So take your time with the PDF. That's a really long kind of baseline kind of riff there as well. Um, but also you can play it with a pick. Um, get a nice heavy kind of pick here. Green Dunlop. Um, sounds really cool as well. And the riff as well. So I'm muting it slightly. If I didn't mute it, you can do that as well. So when I mute with the pick, I kind of mute, mute with the side of the hand. But again, I like both sounds actually. Um, that would cut through quite nicely with the pick. Um, but also I like using my fingers. If you're enjoying this lesson, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can do that by clicking the red button on the bottom right hand side of the video. Um, and if you click the bell, then you'll get notified of all my new lessons as soon as they come out. Classic rock bass line number three is Hold the Line by Toto. This was a massive hit for Toto. It was released in 1978. The bassist in Toto around this time was a guy called David Hungate. Um, he played Yamaha basses and P basses, and there's a bit of confusion. Um, it's li listed as a Fender bass on the album, but I think uh, it's a Yamaha bass. Um, and also he used, he's, he slapped, um, he used the pick, he used finger style, so he was very versatile. Um, so again, just play this one with finger style or pick. I wouldn't suggest slapping it. <laughs> The main riff for this bass line starts on F sharp. Now I use the F sharp, the ninth fret of the A string, um, because it's got a bit of a slide or a fall off like this. Okay, if you do that here and the full fret of the um, D string, doesn't sound great. Okay, so I play it here. Okay, that's the intro. Okay, so the main riff we have in the chorus actually it's just twice as long. Okay, so if we start on the F sharp here. Uh, so okay, they're triplets. Burr, 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 burr. We're fitting three notes into two beats. We've got F sharp and then C sharp, D D E, and we've got a pull up a sort of a slide on the E as well. Okay. three, four, and a lot of these riffs have got a bit of space in them, so you have to count them so you know where to come back in. But just try that with me. So we're gonna do F sharp, C sharp, D, D, E. Okay, three, four, one, two, three, one. Okay, one. Okay, and then we've got, again, and we've got this. I kind of pick up to the F sharp. And the C sharp, I use again the ninth fret, it's easier there. C sharp, E, F sharp. Okay, I'll play you the whole of the chorus. Um, three, four. goes into the verse. Try that with me now, okay, so I'll, I'll put it up on the screen, but we basically, remember the, the bulk of it is F sharp, C sharp, D, D, E, okay, and we've got this pickup, okay, which is C sharp, E, F sharp, okay, so try it with me, three, four, one, two, three, four, with a pickup, three, four, Three, four. So that's down to B flat. So E, C sharp, C. I won't teach you the verse, it's on the PDF, but I'll just play it to you now. It starts on B, C sharp, F sharp, again B, C sharp, F sharp, and B, C sharp, D, C sharp. Same thing again. Okay, so you can see um, there's kind of sort of two bar patterns really there on the verse. 
Um, but again, that's all on the PDF in tab and standard notation. Um, so that's the main riff for holder line. Classic rock bassline number four is from One Vision by Queen. Now this was released as a single in 1985 and then released again in the Kind of Magic album in 1986. John Deacon obviously played this bassline and he used really mostly a P bass around this time. So this would have been played on a P. Um, and like I said before at the beginning of the video, he used his fingers and he used a pick. So it was quite interchangeable. Um, sometimes he would use um, fingers for a studio version of a song and then use the pick when he played it live. Now this starts on D and it's also got a kind of fall off or a slide after the D. So I play it on the 10th fret of the E string. Okay. You can use it there. Okay, you might find it easier on the fifth fret of the A string. That's pretty, pretty right, but it's beefier here. Um, I play in a Queen band called Queen Symphonic, and we do like big stadiums and stuff. Um, so I find with this one that that really is a big fat note there, uh, especially when you're going through a big rig. It's just a lot kind of fatter and warmer than the D there. Okay, but it's entirely up to you where you want to play it. So we kind of start. This is the main riff. Okay, so you can see it's kind of centered around these frets here. So from kind of seven to 10 really. Um, so just little finger on D. C sharp D, D, so that's nine, 10, 10 fret numbers. And then here, B, C, C, which is seven to eight. Okay, so you're just getting that in your head and then really just got these choice of frets here. Getting that rhythm correct. Okay, try that with me, I'll do it a little bit slower. Three, four. Okay, so the guitar comes in first and then you come in with the guitar. And like all these other uh, bass lines so far, it's just great having bass and guitar playing the same riff. It's such a nice sound. Um, it's kind of the backbone of a lot of, um, of classic rock, really, just having both players doing the riff together. Um, so I really enjoy doing that. It's a great feeling when you're kind of playing it live. Uh, it's a really kind of beefy riff. Um, so then we go through the second time round. It's the same to start with. But it's got that bit at the end. Kind of same same notes, just different combination. C, B, C, C sharp, D. Okay. And then we've got a little pick up A. The third time round is the same as the first time. Okay, and then we have a sort of pattern on A. Move to C. Okay, so that bit's on the PDF, um, but it's that main riff again that I wanted to show you. Classic rock bassline number five is Another Brick in the Wall by Pink Floyd. Um, this was on their 1979 album, um, The Wall, which is a kind of rock opera. You've got three versions of Another Brick in the Wall on the album, and this is part two. And this has got the kind of the best bassline on it, really. Some people say that Pink Floyd weren't necessarily really a, a rock band, but when you listen to this tune, it's definitely real classic rock to me. And they definitely had lots of other psychedelic kind of things thrown in there. Um, but this is kind of like a real classic rock song. And it's a bit different to the other ones that you've got the kind of bass line laying down the bass line. It's not necessarily the same as the guitar riff. Roger Waters, the bass player, actually composed this song. Um, and around that time, he was playing a P bass a lot. Uh, and more times than not, really, he kind of used a pick. Okay. One thing to note about this bass line is that you need a low D in it. So um, it was originally played on a four string with the E string detuned down to D. 
Um, so you can play it on a five string, but if you haven't got five string, that's what you can do. So you need to kind of um, detune it and use the fifth fret of the A string, the D there, and then tune it to an octave lower. Now I've got a hip shop um, drop tuner thing, a lever here. If I flick that down, I've got it tuned to D. Um, you can tune it to different notes, E flat, D, um, lower, um, but it gets a bit flappy, okay, uh, on a four string. So I've got it on a D, and when you detune um, to D, you need to play everything, fret it two frets up. So if you want to play a G, instead of the third fret, it's on the fifth fret, so you've got to remember that on that string um, only, okay? So it's a drop D tuning. We've got a six bar um, intro, and then we've just got this low D here, really nice note when it comes in, okay? Um, hold it on for two bars, we've got two bars rest and then we're into the main groove which is this. Okay, so we're playing D, C, D, okay, three and five on the A string. And then D, A, C, okay, so open A, C. Okay, if you want to play the fret of A, instead of it being in the fifth fret of the A string in that position, it's up here. That's an actually an A, okay? So it's better to play it in the open A. So we've got... Just join in with me. Now make sure you play the third note short. Okay, if you play it long, it doesn't sound great. But it's short. And that's such a powerful riff when that comes in. I absolutely love this riff in the context of the song. Remember, I'll be putting the short out as well, 60 second playthrough with the original track, so you can hear what that sounds like for me playing it. Um, and then we kind of carry on with that groove and then... down to G, which is on the fifth fret here. All in all, it's just a, down to the chorus. So we've got F, C, D. Okay, remember F we have to play here where G is, so F, C, hammer on. Okay, there's actually a bit of space between that D and the low D. So from the chorus, F, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, one. Back to the groove. And then A, G, F again. C. So the chorus is just repeated really. You've got these um, first two bars of each four bars is the same. Just got F for four beats. Two, three, four, and then C, two, three, that hammer on, and then down to D. Okay, so do you want to play through the riff a few times with me again? Three, four. Okay, so that's the main riff, and when you detune your um, your string, if you do that at a gig, remember to tune it back up to E. So I'll just flip this lever back up. Um, I have done that before, <laughs> left it down for the next tune and wondered what the hell's going on. Um, so just make sure, remember that you've detuned um, if you're playing at a gig. Well, that's the five classic rock bass riffs. Hope you enjoyed them. Um, it was fun making this video and researching it. There's so many bass lines to choose from. I can't believe I haven't made a, a rock video like this before, um, but there'll be plenty more. Let me know below what your favorite classic rock bass line is, and I might even make a whole lesson on it. So one thing I hope you take away from this lesson is that um, you can use a pick or finger style for classic rock. Um, there is that real classic pick sound, um, but also fingers sound great, especially with modern technology as well. You can really kind of use your amp and your bass to get your bass to cut through. Um, so, you know, you might favour one or the other, that's absolutely fine, but um, it's good if you're versatile, if you can um, use pick and finger style. That's what I would recommend that you kind of master both of those techniques. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel here on YouTube and also to pick up the free PDF that's got all those um, five bass lines on them. 
And also come and check out my website, gbshed.com. I've got loads more free base resources. I've got base courses, books, t-shirts. I've got these low-end lover t-shirts. So go and take a look at gbshed.com. And if you felt that you got value out of this lesson, you can always buy me a coffee. The details are at the bottom of the screen here, or you can click on a link in the description. So check the description out. There are loads of links in there. Also, I've got a five classic Motown bass lines video lesson. You might want to check that out. You can do that by clicking the link here. This is Greg from Greg Space Shed. Hopefully see you very soon in the next video. Mm -hmm.